Hi guys, Tom here. It's the seventh week in Ordinary Time and this is Extraordinary. So I'm out here in the garden, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. We're coming to the end of uh, the cold winter months uh, and we've got some really wonderful feasts uh, and saints to celebrate this week. Uh, there's a couple of days of ordinary time and then on Wednesday we celebrate the feast of three wonderful British uh, female martyrs uh, who died uh, during the time when it was illegal to be uh, a Catholic in this country. Uh, Saint Margaret Ward uh, was a lady who lived in London and she uh, helped a priest escape from prison. Saint Margaret Clitheroe and Saint Anne Lyne were two uh, ladies who helped to hide priests uh, to ensure that they weren't persecuted and to enable people to continue to celebrate Mass uh, and to attend Mass. So they're really wonderful examples of standing up for your faith uh, and professing what you believe and being proud uh, of who you are and who God made you to be. On Friday we celebrate the feast of Saint David. Now Saint David is the patron saint of Wales so shout out to uh, anyone watching uh, in Wales or who is Welsh. Uh, Saint David was uh, a monk uh, very early on. Uh, he was born in Wales and he helped establish uh, Catholic communities uh, in Wales, uh, in the south of Wales particularly, uh, and there is a city in South Wales called St David's, uh, which is named after him, and it is the smallest city uh, in Britain. Uh, there's only about a thousand people live there, uh, and it's a beautiful place, uh, and the cathedral is absolutely beautiful. So if you get the chance uh, to visit, if you're down that way on holiday maybe later this year, then I definitely recommend popping in uh, to learn a little bit more about his life. Now this week's word is evangelize and I think that our saints this week really encapsulate that word about sharing our faith with other people, about uh, being proud of who God made you to be and being willing to take that and share it with the whole world. Evangelization doesn't mean standing on street corners and shouting at people about Jesus, it means being Christ to other people and letting other people encounter Christ through your actions and through the way that you share your faith. So this week, why not devote some time to thinking a little bit about how you can share your faith with other people, but also reflecting on those people who first introduced you to your faith and how they helped you encounter Jesus and helped you understand what it means to be loved by God. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name's been Tom. Uh, I hope you have a great week uh, and we'll see you soon uh, on our YouTube channel. Bye.